Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am going to be doing a thrift haul. I have accumulated quite a lot of stuff over the last like two months, even probably more. Obviously you guys would have seen some of these pieces in previous videos when I was thrifting them, but um, a lot of these I don't think you guys would have seen because I've been going thrifting lately and specifically only looking for like homewares and things for our new house. So I'm going to break this video up into like specific groups of clothing. Honestly, I do have more um, stuff that I could show you guys that are all like homewares and things. Um, I'm just going to skip over those and then we're just going to focus on accessories and clothes today and I'm going to style them for you guys. So I'm going to get straight into it starting off with bags and accessories. So the first items I want to show you are actually some luggage. Bo and I have never had the money to go on a trip together, um, literally anywhere. So this year we're really going to try and save and go literally anywhere. I do not care. I just want to go on a trip with that man. God damn it. Um, so if we do go on a trip, I obviously need some form of luggage, like a carry on and like a small suitcase. So I found the most perfect bags ever. Um, obviously you guys know I'm super into cheetah print and leopard print and all that right now. So when I found this huge leather leopard print bag, I went crazy. I was like, I have to have this. So it has like a textured leather to it. It's in really amazing quality, but I do really love this bag. Um, it can always be like a carry on type thing. And I'm just noticing now that it also has these little buckles on the side where I think I can attach like a bigger, you know, crossbody strap for it, which is really cool. So along with that bag, I also got this suitcase here. This is definitely more of like a structured, you know, bag. And again, it is also in leopard print. Um, it's a little bit darker than the other one and it's from a different brand called Luca. So I did get these at two different times, but the fact that I found both of them is so amazing and so perfect. It obviously has the like extendable handle and wheels and everything. And I think that I will be absolutely serving in the airport with these bags. I am so excited about them. I just realized that I haven't changed my top. I'm still wearing my like crappy pajama top that has Marilyn Mist on it. So that's disappointing. But anyway, please just ignore this top. Okay. The next bag is honestly kind of like a grail for me. I've been looking for one of these bags for so long, but they are just super expensive on Depop or to get secondhand. But it is this guest bag and it is so perfect. I've been looking for a guest bag just in general for like ages. So for me to find this guest bag that is completely black with silver studded details and the like classic G for only $8 is actually insane to me. I absolutely love the style of this. I love how shiny the leather is and everything. And um, it actually has some snake skin on it. It honestly is a little bit more, um, you know, McBling and like that Y2K like trashy kind of vibe. But honestly, I fuck with it anyway. I really don't care. I love this bag so much. Okay, now that we've gone through accessories, um, I have to pick what category I want to start with, um, which is kind of hard because I don't know if you can see, but I have a whole chair's worth of clothes that I have to get through here. Honestly, I think that I want to start with some skirts. I found a few skirts and I didn't get to try them on because they were no change rooms. So I want to kind of try those on and see if I actually like them. So starting off with this skirt that I got right here. Um, it is such a weird material. It's got this like ruched kind of pattern to it. And I really like that about it. Then I wasn't hundred percent sure about this like asymmetrical ruffled kind of hem. I'm going to have to try this on to see if it fits me and see what the hell I'm going to do with styling it. <laughs> As you can see, it's got a little bit of a like mullet hem. Uh, I don't know if that's the proper term, but that's what I call it. It is also a little bit, uh, more bodycon than I thought it would be. I thought it would come out a bit more and be more flowy. I don't really know if I even want to keep this or style it, um, just because I don't know if I would wear it very often. This is the next skirt that I got and I am a little bit worried that this isn't going to fit me. Um, the waistband looks a little bit like it's stretched out, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It is again a little bit more gothic. It has this beautiful handkerchief hem. And it also has this really cool like black ribbon tied around the bottom of it. And then of course all these like sparkly sequins and beads that it has running throughout it. So it's really, really pretty and I really hope that this fits me. I feel like I will be able to style this a little bit better than this one. So this is too big on me. If I uh, let it go, it's going to fall down. So, but I really like this skirt. I think that it looks really pretty. I love the asymmetrical hem and everything. It has those like gothic elements to it, but it's also in such a light and breathable like fabric. I am really sad that this doesn't fit me. So I may have to resell this or just donate it back to the savers. Okay, so I have made a huge mistake, which was putting together this full outfit because now I don't want to get rid of the skirt. <laughs> I've literally just safety pinned it at the back. So like, don't, 
look at the back but this top is so gorgeous i don't wear enough because i don't know what to wear with it i feel like all my other clothes are too casual in comparison to this top but now with this like witchy skirt it goes with the whimsy goth vibe i love the skirt and i've also matched it with my like very witchy black boots so yeah um i don't want to get rid of this skirt now <laughs> i'm pretty sure this is the last skirt that i got but honestly i've gotten so many things i have kind of lost track of what i've shown you guys already and what i haven't shown you guys so if i'm missing anything i apologize but it will probably be up on my instagram anyway anyway this is a new skirt that i got and i absolutely love it this is really cute it's just like a simple little mini tennis skirt kind of style and if you guys do follow me on instagram i have already posted in this skirt already i'm actually going to show you guys a piece right now that you wouldn't have seen me thrift yet but i think it's going to be in my next video after this i don't know man the timelines of when i shoot my videos and when i do hauls and stuff is so out of whack it's crazy but i really really want to show you guys some shoes that i bought recently because they are literally perfect and i think that they are going to work with the outfit i'm going to put together with this okay so these are the boots that i'll give you guys a sneak peek of they are just such a perfect classic black boot they have this like really nice wide thick heel which i love because you guys know I can't really walk in heels and they also have this kind of squared off toe which I think is really flattering. It definitely has that like very 90s look. So this is the outfit that I have gone with. It is just like super basic kind of everyday stuff. I love this boat neck top. It is like mwah, perfect. I think everyone should go and get a top like this. They look so flattering on literally everyone. So I have gone with this red bag here, which I absolutely adore, but I feel like this guest bag would also go with this outfit. Oh, I could even add some sunglasses with this too. I think I will. Okay, yeah, this is definitely a cute going out look, just like when it's a bit warmer because it's like two degrees today. It's fucking freezing. <laughs> yeah, I could walk around the city for hours wearing this and I think I would slay. I don't know. What do you think? Okay, now we're gonna move on to pants. And starting off, uh, these actually aren't much of a pant themselves. They're like a very, very short short. And um, I solely bought these for those like 40 degree days in Melbourne when the heat is literally unbearable. So I actually think that these were like pajama or even like boxer shorts that someone has cropped even further. But these are some tiny little red gingham shorts. I thought that they were really cute and obviously I love red gingham for spring and summer. Who doesn't? I feel like I could wear these boots with them, but obviously when it's 40 degrees, that's an absolute no-go. I don't know if I want to do like a practical outfit with this or if I want to do a totally impractical outfit with this. I'm kind of feeling the impractical outfit. So let me find a top that goes with this and I'm going to keep these boots on. Okay, this is the outfit that I've gone with and honestly, I love this outfit. Um, It's so cute. I love how the gingham shorts are just like peeking out under this little baby doll top that I got. I've got the same boots on and everything. I put on my sunglasses because obviously it's going to be 5 million degrees. So you need sunglasses. I've got this huge hobo bag that's covered in studs. I love this bag so much. And even though these shorts are a little bit more feminine and girly or, you know, a bit more light, I'm still trying to keep them a bit more alternative and, you know, just staying in my style. The next pants I'm going to show you, I actually haven't worn yet because I plan to wear these at work. But uh, because of how early I start in the mornings, I literally just throw on the most basic outfit ever. I don't do my hair. I don't do my makeup. I don't have time for that. So I haven't got a chance to wear some of my like really cool office pieces that I've actually thrifted over the last, you know, few months or so. So I'm going to style these in a more like office siren, you know, vibe. I don't know what the hell to call it. All right, this is what I've gone with. Um, these pants obviously are like such a perfect fit. So I paired them with this Caroline Morgan top. I also have paired kitten heels, like my pointy kitten heels with this outfit because they just peek out over my pants, which is so adorable. And then I've also paired my bag that I actually take to work every day. It's my laptop and um, everything in it. I think this is cute. And uh, yeah. Okay, continuing on with my <laughs> obsession with like animal print right now. These pants are really basic and they fit me kind of weird. So I don't really like them that much but because they're so casual and comfortable and i really like the print of them i decided to get them anyway i can always wear them in like a really basic way i actually got another pair of leopard print pants that i like the pattern of more but i don't like the fit of them more i don't think i'm gonna style these i'm just gonna put them on and show you guys what they look like on me okay so as you can see here these are obviously very high-waisted uh and they could 
honestly come up even more. That's literally at my rib cage. That looks so ridiculous. So um, anyway, yeah, honestly, I like the print of the other ones better. So I'm going to put those on and style those ones instead. And these are literally pajama pants. They're from some random brand I've never heard of before. But I really like the colors on these a lot better than the other pants that I got. So I've just put on a big t-shirt. I'll probably put on my bag too. Okay, I've changed my shoes just to my classic docks. Um, and I think that they suit this a lot better because they make my feet look bigger. Okay, that's it for pants. And now I think I'm going to move on to tops so that I can transition into my jackets and then do dresses last because they're by far the easiest to style for me. So starting with tops, we have this amazing slipknot top. I thrifted this from the kids section. I don't know why it was in the kids section. It literally has swear words on the back of it. Um, it still had the tags on it when I got it, but um, because I'm not reselling it, I took the tags off, which is always a painful thing to do, but whatever. This is labeled as an extra small, so it's a little bit more tight on me. It's from the brand The GTS, which I have never heard of before. I personally am a Slipknot fan myself. This is the second Slipknot top that I have thrifted as well, which is really weird. I have no idea what direction I'm going to go in with this shirt, so you'll just have to find out. <laughs> okay, this is my initial outfit. I just wanted to go for that more like classic new metal sort of concert vibe, and uh, this is definitely something I would wear to a Slipknot concert if they would have come here. But I do have a kind of stupid idea that I want to try out. Um, so let me do that and I'll come back to you guys. Okay, this is the outfit that I initially wanted to do, but I wasn't sure if it would actually work and I'm still not really sure if it works. Um, I recently thrifted this white button down shirt just so I could wear it underneath things. It is a little bit sheer, so I can't really wear it on its own. Yeah, I don't know how to feel. I think that this being a bit rounded is making me feel a little bit weird about it. I don't know if I need to make the top a bit longer, but I have tied it at the back. I do like the neck and the sleeves though. I think that that's really cute. And um, obviously anything is gonna look hot as fuck in these boots. So <laughs> I obviously won't be wearing a shirt that has any uh, swearing on it though. So yeah, I definitely won't be wearing this shirt to the office, but at some point I may wear this outfit. Oh, and a longer skirt too, but whatever okay <laughs> next up i want to talk to you about is this one here and when i picked it up i didn't really know what to make of it i obviously was just drawn to the color and then i noticed how many like unique details i had on it and i thought that i might as well try it on um it's from the brand karen millen which i think i've heard of before but only when thrifting and i kind of see this as like more of a cute like party top like i'd probably wear this out um, if I were to go clubbing or something, I don't know, honestly, I think it's really unique and really fun. So I probably wouldn't wear this to like a formal setting or anything, especially since it has all these coming off of it. I wouldn't want to like whip anyone in the face. <laughs> okay, I put the top on and immediately felt like I shouldn't wear this to the club. So I just put back on my boot cut office pants and my kitten heels. And I'm going to add this jacket and probably this bag. And I feel like this is definitely something I would wear to like a cute girls night or something, you know, just going to a bar, going and having dinner or something, you know. So this is with the jacket and the bag. I think maybe the jacket does make it look a little bit more office wear. But other than that, I think this is really cute. This is the last top that I got and it is so pretty. It is another like summertime spring kind of look with the print and how bright it is but honestly I wanted to challenge myself and get a piece that I think looks really cute but I'm not sure how I would style it. It's from the brand Exception and it is also a v-neck so that's another challenge we got to deal with. This is what I have on so far and uh, as you can see this top it's almost like a dress length but it's obviously too short to be dressed. I've put on this really maxi light denim skirt and I've got my flats on but honestly I feel like if this was like you know maybe this much then it would be a bit better okay I feel like that's a little bit better I definitely feel more comfortable wearing it this is uh, definitely a step away from my style it's a lot lighter it's definitely not for this weather I really like the pattern on this top and the sleeves and everything so I didn't want to pass it up even though it is a bit more out of my comfort zone okay I'm gonna quickly go through jackets because I don't think I need to style these jackets entirely because I'm just gonna wear them over the top of outfits that I've already made anyway first jacket is of course my pride and joy. Um, I didn't even find this bow ended up finding it for me. So he has to take the credit for it, unfortunately. But it is this gorgeous long black coat and it has this cheetah print fur trim all over it. So stunning. It is like the perfect length. 
It's a little bit oversized, which I really like about it because I can move more freely. I don't know what else to say about it. You guys have seen it on my Instagram already, so I don't have to talk about it for that much longer, but it's from the brand Boom as well, which is so funny. I think that that brand tag is so cute. This is the other jacket that I got, and I already talked about it in my thrift trip video, so I don't have to really go into detail, but it is this adorable grey plaid blazer. It's in like a kind of woolen material, so it's a bit more casual. This is it. This is the jacket. <laughs> It's very warm um, and it has the lining in it as well. So yeah, it's really comfortable, really cute. Okay, we are now onto dresses. This is the last like segment of this video. I wanted to start off with a dress that is just so outside of my comfort zone. It's insane and I don't even know how I'm gonna wear it, but I loved the shape of it and it was only like $4 or something. So I had to snatch it up. I am debating dyeing it to just make it a little bit darker because it's so bright and like very 70s. Let me just go ahead and show you guys what it is. It's this very basic like mini dress. It has a very similar shape to the dress that I recently made from scratch with my mom. I figured that I would really lean into the like retro vibe of it and put on these colorful tights. I've got on my black Mary Janes and uh, my big sunglasses and just my black bag to kind of tone things down a little bit. I'm really not a huge fan of the color palette here. Obviously bright orange really isn't my thing, but I do really love the pattern and obviously the cut of it is so cute. Like I've got it tied up in the back and that makes it even better. But my idea was that I get some black dye, which I have used before, and I soak it in the dye, but only like briefly. So it doesn't fully absorb and turn black but it just makes this color a little bit darker and more muted. For now, I'm just gonna lean into the like retro 60s vibe that the pattern is giving me. I forgot to talk about this dress before I put it on, but whatever. I've kept my same shoes and tights on because I think that it also works with this outfit. With this dress, they work in a very like cute, dark coquette, like academia kind of way. This dress is so stunning. It's actually from the brand Dotty, but it has like a vintage kind of tag on it. I was really happy to find this. I love the length of it. It's like kind of that mid length, but I think that it looks more like chic that way. And it also has a tie up waist, but it's put like a little bit too high. So it doesn't really do anything. It doesn't cinch anything in. Um, it's just kind of for decoration. So whatever, it still looks really pretty. I'm just gonna add my like weird antique kind a bag here as well. This is the full fit. Very cute. Okay, we're nearly there. This is the second last item um, and it is this gorgeous fully silk dress from the brand OJ. I love this dress. I think it is so pretty and flattering even though it has the v-neck. I think that it kind of works with this style. Yeah, again, I'm just gonna style this really like classically with some kitten heels and a little black bag. Um, I don't want to do anything too crazy. I'd probably wear my black leather jacket over this. The only thing about it is that it has this zip on the side. And uh, I don't know if you can see that because of the background, but the zip is like all wavy. You know when zips do that? I hate that so much. Um, and it's making me look like my hip is like... You know, I'm not really sure how to fix that. I think I might have to iron it down or something. I don't know, now that I've said that, my mom will text me and be like, don't iron it or something like that. But um, this is the outfit. It's just a really simple, very pretty, flowy little dress. And I can't wait to wear it in spring. Okay, we are now at our last item. It is literally dark outside. And the reason why this is the last item is because I haven't tried it on yet, but I have already made alterations to it. So I'm like so nervous to see what it looks like now. Um, so this is the dress. It is so stunning. I love the neckline of it especially. It's from the brand Dorothy Perkins. I Again, I've never heard of that brand. So the thing that I altered was the sleeves because it had these horrible cap sleeves on them and I just knew that it wasn't going to look good. So I unpicked it and um, yeah, I'm really hoping that I haven't made a huge mistake and I don't have to sew them back on. I absolutely love this. I knew that it had potential. I'm also so glad that I cut the sleeves off. I think this is so much better. With the sleeves before, I think I would have looked like I was wearing like American football uniform or something. I've kept my same basic bag on and my kitten heels as well. I feel very classy wearing this. I feel like honestly I should be going to like 
the races or something, but I actually care about um, horses, so I will not be doing that. But with this dress, it does bring me to the end of this video and this haul. I have gone through so many goddamn clothes today, I can't wait to clean up now. But I do it all for you guys, and I hope that you have enjoyed watching this video. If you liked the video, then give the video a like. And if you like me, then please subscribe to my channel, it really helps me out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!